We left off of season one with Helen on Christmas Day in the wedding that never was. He thinks he's missed the wedding and it's gone ahead. He's pretty much broken hearted. I missed it. Oh, did you ever? But it hasn't, and he finds her alone there in the church. It's a plucky thing to do. It's a plucky thing to do now, but it, it sure, sure as hell was in, in 1937. And then, of course, Helen will need some space and need some time, and, and James completely respects that. Let's get you home. Ultimately, he's in a good place because the woman that he is madly in love with hasn't got married. Beginning of series two, James has just been in Glasgow visiting his parents for Easter. He comes back and Helen's been sort of keeping herself to herself for a little while and this is the first time they see one another again. And so at the start of the season we see her kind of, you know, peeping out a little bit and emerging again. I haven't really been out since. No one will care. At the end of season one, her son's made empty promises to come and meet her. He doesn't come at Christmas. It makes her think about how grateful she is for the people she has around her at Skeldale House. When you take that into series two, it's then, here she is, this is her life, she's earning a living, she has a wonderful home. So what new doors are gonna open? It's gonna be exciting. Season one ends with Tristan believing that he's passed his exams and he's on top of the world, um, and that it's smooth sailing from here. <laughs> we left Siegfried slightly trapped by a lie that he's told about Tristan not passing his exams. The first time, potentially, in their relationship, Siegfried's actually been the one lying. And we find him at the beginning of season two in the same situation, and the lie's beginning to bite back a bit. We could be putting Tristan to better use. Maybe it's time he had a list of his own. And I think he's a bit lonely about it, actually, because nobody else knows that he's done it. Yes, I suppose there's only so much harm he can do. At the start of series two, we find Tristan's thinking he's the world's greatest vet. <laughs> Don't you worry, we'll soon see him right. So while he's excited to have these opportunities and he's excited to prove himself, Tristan has this crippling need to please and impress his brother. Season two is in the spring and the summer. So we have lots of lambs. I think everybody's hearts are open. It's going to be the season of love. There's so much going on in season two. It's a lovely love story that bubbles all the way through. What people will love most about season two is a lot more of the same. This wonderful balance of comedy, lightheartedness, along with poignancy, drama, and really touching moments with these wonderful characters. I hope that the fans love that even more than, than season one. And also there's a bit more romance in this season. Uh, for all characters. <laughs>